Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna take a look at the slim bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. So stay tuned for that. Hi again. Before we start, make sure you've got a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. That's the international variant of the Samsung Galaxy S2. Don't worry, I have a video explaining how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2, whether it's on, on ice cream sandwich or on jelly bean. Check out the link below. Secondly, make sure you've got a good micro USB cable. Thirdly, make sure you've got Samsung keys installed for driver's sake. So the Slim Bean Roam can be found and downloaded from their main website, which is slimroams.net. They support several other devices, including I believe the Galaxy S3, and there's the Nexus lineup, they support the Galaxy S3, the Nexus phones, Galaxy Note series, a even HTC One and HTC One X Plus and the Sony Xperia S. So head over to the website which is slimrooms.net. I'll be providing a link in the video description below. And head over to supporter devices, look for Samsung Galaxy S2. They also support the i9100G, i9100, the AT&T Galaxy S2 Skyrocket, and the AT&T Galaxy S2 uh, i777. So select your supported device. Once there, you've got to download the ROM. And of course, you have to download the add-on, which is the G apps. The ROM is about, I believe, less than 100 megabytes. And the add-on, which is of the G apps, is roughly about 24 megabytes. It's quite low. Anyway. Once you have it downloaded onto your desktop or wherever you want to download it, as you can see, I've got Slim i9100 4.2.2 build 4.2 dash official. That's the latest one from Slim Bean and Slim G apps 4.2.2 build 4.2. Copy these two files, connect your Samsung Galaxy S2. If you're using the Neat Roam Lite, um, you'll be prompted to use a USB mass storage since it's not on, on by default. Nevertheless, um, I've got my SD card over here open up and we're going to transfer the Slim Bean Roam and the G apps onto the SD card. So again, make sure you've got a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100 for this to work. So after it's done transferring, remove your micro USB cable and shut down or turn off your Samsung Galaxy S2. Once it's fully off, we're going to head into recovery mode. Uh, you, in order to access recovery mode, all you have to do is to press volume up, the home button and the power button all at once. Of course, your device has to be fully off before you can proceed. So the, Vi the Samsung Galaxy S2 is now fully off. Press the volume up, home button, and the power button all at once for at least 10 seconds. Your screen should flash twice, signifying that you'll be entering recovery mode. I can let go now. And right now I'm using the Phil Z kernel. Thus you'll see a different user interface compared to the usual. So we're gonna go head over to install zip. Choose zip from SD card, of course. Head over down and install slim i9100. Yes, install slim. Give this a few minutes so it can so that it will be able to install. So once it's done installing the slim bean ROM, um, head over back to the menu, choose zip from SD card, and this time install slim G apps. These are the official Google apps. So yes, install. Again, give this a couple of seconds or even just a minute. So it's done. Head over back to the main menu. Go back and do wipe data factory reset just to make sure. Yes, I'd like to do a factory reset. This would 
this will take a couple of seconds do a wipe, ca wipe, sorry, wipe cache partition once that's done you can do wipe delvic if you wish I like doing it just to make sure and you can do fix permissions just in case so once, that's, once everything's done go back and reboot system again this will probably take around three to five minutes at most ten minutes to fully install the slim bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 as you can see there's the the new boot up screen with the slim bean logo which is actually pretty 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 cool I don't know what to expect this is the first time I'm installing this it was requested by you guys at wiredmash.com and on my YouTube channel so if you've got any requests for any other roams out there feel free to post them in the YouTube comments or in the comments on wiredmash.com I'll be happy to take a look at it so I'll be back once it's booted up so it took roughly about three to four minutes to, f uh, to set up and to install on my Samsung Galaxy S2 and um, at first glance it looks like it's running on stock Android and but at a different uh, resolution seems to be a higher resolution or DPI so I mean, let's set it up let's start let's skip the Wi-Fi setup yeah I want to skip anyway as you can see it seems to be the text is a lot smaller I'm, I hope I can change this next so let's see how it looks like when first okay so we've got an interesting wallpaper there of the slim bean room uh, we have launcher settings can play around with that it's using the holo launch HD so this is like the same user interface as the Nexus 4 and the Tab and the Nexus 7 but I gotta figure out how to fix this uh, resolution I'm not so happy with it the DPI but anyway oh we can change it into the real dark slim room I mean the team it's darker Whoa, wow <laughs> Anyway, I'll have an in-depth look of the Slim Bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 in the coming week, so stay tuned for that. If you've got any questions, any queries, or any comments, or any requests for a new ROM for me to review, feel free to post them in the YouTube comments below or at wiredmash.com. So don't forget to like, to subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.